Hello and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So there's just been a new beta that's been launched uh, where you can create your own custom campaign. And I'm going to show you how you do that and go through the steps of making our own little campaign. It's just like normal sandbox mode, only you have an extra tab in the top left. So the way it works is you put down a unit. We're just going to say we'll put down some hobbits, some halflings, bam. There you go, you've got 400 points down there. You click on the tab in the top left and you can save the battle. You can then turn it into a campaign and then upload the campaign. So we're gonna save this battle and we're gonna call it Hobbit Dudes. You can give it a description. And also what's cool as well is you can set a player budget. Cause like, this is like 400 points, but you could probably beat these guys with a cheeky 100, 200 point army, if you knew what you were doing. So we're gonna go with, uh, let's say a budget of 200, sure, whatever. And it is, hobbits are heading to Isengard. Sure, whatever. There you go, you save it, save successful. And now when you go to the campaign creator, he's already got, uh, there's a campaign I made there, Boney and Chifo, that's an interesting campaign. So uh, yeah, you can go here and you can find your battle that you want to put in there. Hobbit dudes. There we go. And uh, then you save the campaign. So with that in mind, we're going to try and make our own campaign for somebody else to play. Now, the only person I know that plays tabs really a lot is Tom. So I'm going to give him a pretty wacky themed campaign. So first off, the first battle always has to be the easiest. Well, it doesn't have to be the easiest, but it makes sense that you ramp up to bigger armies. So we're going to say for the first part of our campaign, it's gonna take place on the mean streets of uh, Ancient One. So word has it in ancient Greece, one dude has been causing up a storm. Guess who it is? It's Jason frickin' Statham. <laughs> Chief Headbutter, so it's Jason Statham. Now he's, that's actually, I think that's a lady with uh, long hair, but that's fine, she could be Jason Statham. So work has dried up for Jason Statham. He's in Hollywood, this is what we're calling this place, this is Hollywood, and Jason Statham is looking for a new part. He's looking for a new big movie to star in. So what do you do when you need to be in a movie, when you're looking to flex your skills so that agents and directors see you? Well, you walk down Hollywood Boulevard, headbutting people with your agent, just so people can see how much of a badass you are and how much they want you in their movie. So that's going to be this. It's just it's just Jason and his agent walking downtown, kicking up some fuss. Maybe maybe his stuntman as well. Let's put a stuntman in there too. And we'll say his stuntman is a Taekwondo guy. So it's Jason Statham, his agent, and his stuntman. His chief stuntman looks exactly like him. Man, I'd get those two confused any day of the week. Let's give these guys a budget of... 450 seems fair because uh, that's roughly half, just over half. And these are interesting different units. So I think you could probably defeat this lineup with maybe even 400 points. Boom. Okay, so we're moving on to the next campaign. Let's clear this up. So let's see, let's, let's imagine, where does the story go from here? So Jason Statham has been defeated by our dudes in Hollywood. Oh no, what's he gonna do next? Okay, well, he failed. So he has to star in, in the name of the king. <laughs> by Uwe Boll. It's a terrible movie. Now, of course, it stars Jason Statham, so we've got to put him down. Head butter, there he is, up front and center, because he's the main star. It's also a fantasy movie that's weirdly got some ninjas. We'll put down some squires, and of course, it's got to have the king. So we're going to put the king in there as well. Bam. So that makes this an almost a 3,000 point army in the name, no, we're just going to call it Dungeon Siege name of the king 1600 seems about fair okay oh yeah look at this badass man what a pedigree this guy has he's been in some amazing movies so we scroll down this list of movies he's been in man he did this after transporter what about death race boom jason statham goes from strength to strength dungeon siege into death race death race is a crazy movie about super weaponized cars so we're going to need some fast movers. We're going to have a wheelbarrow dragon. Boom. A couple of wheelbarrows. Some crazy death race wheelbarrows. A minotaur. These guys charge. That's pretty badass. The Vikings do have Valkyries. There she is. She's very quick. There's a long ship, because why not? And uh, that's about it. We're going to stick with that. There's no renaissance, no pirate. And none of the secret units are really super quick apart from the dragon. Statham's new movie is Death Race. It's got the fastest cars in the galaxy. 
shooting each other and it's crazy. So after Death Race, he joins The Expendables, of course. What an amazing movie. Boom, The Expendables. Now, what's The Expendables about? Well, it's got the baddest action stars in the galaxy all together kicking some ass. So we're going to just focus on the strongest single units that we can find. Some real, real badasses. So obviously it's got Jason Statham, the headbutter. It's definitely going to have Vlad. Vlad's a bit of a badass. It's going to have a cheerleader. It's got Artemis. Boom. Sensei. Sensei's insane. The Monkey King is a bit of a badass. What about Zeus? Boom. Okay, now this is a 15,000 point army. So I reckon giving somebody about 10k to deal with this would be... Well, even 8k could probably handle it. So boom, we'll say save. And we'll give them a budget of about, let's say 6,500 is probably safe. Okay, so that's about, what's that? So four battles. So we're going to finish this off with a fifth battle. We've gone from walking down the street in the name of the king, death race, and now the expendables. And now we have the final movie for Jason Statham. We're going to call it The Mech. If you haven't seen The Meg, it's a classic. So The Meg is a movie starring Jason Statham where there's a Megalodon. <laughs> and so we're going to have to find a Megalodon. And uh, we're going to go with Ice Giant. Bam, there it is. The Megalodon. Boom. We're going to obviously put Jason in here somewhere. There he is, old, old Jason. And uh, we're going to go a little bit crazy with this one. We're going to say there's not just one Megalodon. There's freaking five megalodons. Also, megalodons are big, but what else is big? We got some. We got some big sharks. Maybe some whales in here as well. So we're gonna have some tree giants too. Forty-six thousand points. Holy crap! But obviously, it also takes place in the sea. So we're gonna put some boats in here as well. Just some long ships. So there we go. We got our final map. We're gonna save this out, and we'll give players a budget of I think I think honestly ten, maybe fifteen thousand could deal with this quite simply. The ultimate Oscar performance. Jason is starring in The Meg. And there's freaking huge megalodons, giants, coming out of the frozen sea. There's lots of boats too. You gotta stop these fucking megalodons. Now we're going to zip through, try and attempt all these battles, see if we can do it. Boom. So we've got a player budget here of 400. So let's see if we can do something with 400 points. It's just Jason, his agent, and obviously he's stunt double. So for 400 points, I reckon we can probably nail this. Maybe just 400 points worth of archers. Range is pretty strong, and the recurring theme in most of these things that we've built is there's not that much in the way of range going on. <laughs> Here we go. Straight down the middle. Oh, Jason's down. And I think he's out. Oh, the jester is about to go down. Jason's agent. But here comes his stunt double. Watch out. He's a badass. Ooh, oh, and miss with the firework. What about regular archers? They're a thing. We'll try three, and maybe 420 is the points that we're allowed. Also, 420 is a bit of a meme number, so that's fine. Go on, boys. Fill them with holes. Jason's down. Come on, boys. Reload, reload. Where's the stunt double? Oh, right in the, right in the stomach. But here comes the stunt double. Perfect. 420. Save the battle. Player budget, 420. We've done it. Okay, next up, Dungeon Siege in the name of the king. So, as always, I'm going to rock out some Firework Archers, my favorite unit in the game. And some Frontline. So we're going to put Halflings on the bridge. Okay, the Halflings are going in. They're confusing things. Bit of friendly fire there. Off goes the Halfling. That's fine. Whoa. Uh-oh. Now the king is going to be the real trouble here. But everyone's down except the king and a squire. Oh, and the ninja's back up. Oh, no, he's going to go through these guys like butter. That's, that's not going to happen. Okay, well, what about... I like the idea of the uh, ballista. That's pretty strong. But what if we just put down some stronger frontline dudes? 
some guys that can really take a beating. What about some shield bearers? And then how about a ninja of our own? Oh, okay. So the king is dead. Long live the king. Okay, we've done it. A red victory, and it cost us 1,600 points. So, clear that out. Save the battle. 1,600. That's super safe. Next up, it's Death Race. And this is a point cost of 2,500. Shouldn't be too hard, because there's a lot of fast movers. What about Firework Archers? They are always amazing. Here we go. Man, the bridge really does destroy the first wave of your arrows. So let's scatter the firework archers around the edges so they don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. Oh, here we go. This is going pretty well. The Minotaur is still up. He's going to be a big, tr big, big problem for us. But the monks are actually holding their ground really well. Oh, God. Oh, is the Minotaur down? No. But he might charge himself off the map in a second. Oh, no. They're going to drag him off. Rest in peace, Minotaur boy. Oh, but Mungo Jerry is coming. Whoa! See you later, pal. But the Minotaur is going to shred those archers. Okay, that's a shame. Another blue victory. Are these monks really the best choice here, then? Let's have another think. 2,500 points. What about a Huacha? No. That ain't going to happen, is it? Come on, reload. Get him. Oh my god. That worked. With one guy left, could this be the one? Yes, get him. Oh my god, not a single one landed. This is the luckiest man alive. Let's slow-mo the Huacha bullets coming in. Oh, here they come. Digga, 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 digga. They are flying way too high. Oh, look at this Neo mother trucker. He is dodging every single one. But it's only a matter of time before one of these things lands square in his face. Yes! Right in the gut, finally, at last. It's time for the Expendables. So this is 15,000 points on their side. And we've allotted ourselves 6,500. I think this is gonna be probably an easy one. Single dudes, very powerful. But, what's the best thing against single units? It's got to be the Ballista. And for 6,000 points, we can get a fair few of those. Let's see what 6,300 worth do. Whoa! Oh my god, wiped the F out. So Zeus is still alive, so is the Monkey King, and the Chili does there cheering them on. But that is a red victory. That's a that's categoric red victory. What about 4,500? Okay, so it's still going pretty well. Artemis has been taken out with one ballista. But we still have Jason Statham up here, the Monkey King, and Zeus. Whoa! Okay, Zeus has been sent to the other side of the map, which honestly means it's lights out. But it's just the cheerleader left. Ho oh, ho ho! Oh! Wiped out. So we're going to change this now. We're going to clear this on the left. And we're going to save this and say it's 4,500. That's that's the budget. So now it's on to the final battle, the mech. Holy smokes. And we've given ourselves a budget of 15,000. Now again, versus big dudes, the best tool to use is the ballista. So we're just going to line up about 10Ks worth of ballistas. And let's see what this does. comes the first wave of ballista shots. Thunk. 
sunk. Whoa, so the first wave of uh, boats has been wiped out completely. There it goes. But there's still a lot of giants on the field. A lot of megs, a lot of megs out there. Here come the ballistas. Thunk. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Oh. But these giants have really taken a beating. Oh, is he going to die? No. He's just taking damage. Come on, reload, boys. Oh, no. The megs have reached the catapults. Okay, that is not enough ballistas. This is over. Okay. So we need more, more devastation coming down here. What about a Huacha? We can get a few more of those for our budget. Yeah, the Huachas are having trouble now. Oh my god, look how many arrows that giant took without dying! Oh, here we go though. One giant down, two giants down. It's going much better. But again, they've reached the front line and they're smashing the ballistas to bits. Okay, so one strat that I've seen work very well is supercharging a ballista. What you do is you put a ballista down and then behind it, you put a whole bunch of cheerleaders, as many as you can afford. And if the point limit is 15,000, we can afford a lot of cheerleaders. So what this should do is increase the fire rate on the ballista massively. Oh my God, yeah, look at this guy churn out those ballistas. Oh, no, no. But the ballista has broken? Did we... I think we put the ballista too too close to the cheerleaders. Let's put it forwards a bit. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that machine gun ballista. Thunk, 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 thunk. What a war zone. We are going to get some friendly fire, though, pretty soon. If those cheerleaders don't get out of the way. Oh, my God. They are dodging those ballistas like a champ. I do believe that's it. Oh, no, no. There's still a lot of oarsmen on the field. They, they must have gotten shot back to the back of the map with the uh, with the boats. Whoa. Oh, man. This poor guy. He's about to get thunked. Vroom. Oh, man. That one just clipped him, but still devastated him. So it's just this last dude over here. Oh, no, no. There's someone hiding in the bodies. I see him. I see him there. There is still a guy hiding behind this guy's body. Oh man, what a way to go! He's been crushed by a giant! He can't escape! Oh, he's being sandwiched! This poor dude! He just wants he just wants to go home. Oh, that is that is terrifying. He's caught up in the snow. The ice giant's snow. So we're gonna possess this guy. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god, terrifying. Let's see if we can sneak up on this ballista by using the cover of giant's bodies. Here we go. We got this. Loud and proud. Now, careful. Wait, where's the ballista gone? It's, it's, it's vanished. <laughs> Slam. Slam dunk. Headbutt. Bam. Wait, is this Jason? Is this Jason Statham? Bam. Cheerleader down. So, the ballista... I think has flown itself off the map somehow. And he's killed most of his chili buddies. <laughs> Slam. So that's a blue victory, but because of the circumstances, we are definitely gonna say that is very achievable for 15,000 points. So clear. Let's go to campaign editor and create the campaign. So it starts with Statham's debut. It moves over to Dungeon Siege in the name of the king. Then we move over to Death Race. It's the Expendables after that. And then the Meg. Rise of Jason Statham. Jason Statham's life story told by battles. Congratulations by his frickin' bread. Sweet. Bam! Well, thank you very much. If you want to see me make more campaigns and challenge Tom with them, or if you want to see Tom make some campaigns and uh, me to play his, do mention so in the comments below, uh, and we'll crack on with that. Until next time, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more tabs. Take care.